and welcome to Lesson 4 in Anchor Group's free course on Advanced PDF HTML Templates. In this lesson, we're going to take a deeper dive into the WYSIWYG mode and build out a template. To start, let's edit the logo here. If you'll remember from our previous lesson on WYSIWYG mode, when we hit the preview button to see the template, the logo's kind of blown up. So we want to take care of that first. So we'll click on this little image icon and we'll want to adjust these settings here for width, height, border, etc. For the width, let's give it 160. For the height, let's do 95. And let's do no border, no age space, and no V space. Now for your logo, you might adjust these a little bit differently, but for our logo, these are the settings we want. And let's keep the alignment left. And for this instance, the preview button is actually a great option to see what the template looks like at this point instead of using the print button from the invoice record. And as you can see, our logo is looking much better. Again, this is specific to our logo. Your logo settings might be slightly different, so just take that into account. Now that we've seen what it looks like using the preview button, next we're going to want to hover over the blue save button in the upper left hand corner and click the save and edit option. Now all of our progress is saved. So now if we go to the invoice, hover over the print icon and click print, we'll get to see what the invoice looks like since we made those changes to the logo. Important to note that if you do not save your progress when you're editing in the WYSIWYG mode, you cannot see those changes when you go to print using the print button on the invoice record. So just be sure to save your progress before you go trying to print via the invoice record. So let's go take a look back at that preview invoice. So one of the things we're going to work on here is aligning the text. As you can see, some text here is a little bit off from where we want it to be. To start, we'll fix the company name and address text. So for that, we're going to right click in the cell that the company name and address is in. We're going to go to cell and then split cell vertically. And then we're going to move the company name and address to the cell that was just created to the right. And splitting this cell into two different cells is nice because now the logo has its own cell and the text has its own cells. So now that we've made that change, let's just click the preview button here to see what that looks like. So as you can see, looking at this new template and toggling back to the previous template, you can see there's a little bit of a change in how the text is aligned, but it's not right where we want it to be. So we're going to work on it a little bit more. So we'll go back to that cell that has the company name and address, and we're going to drag the edge of that cell over to the left, making that cell a bit bigger. So let's do another preview. And if you look at this new template versus the template that we made just prior to this, you'll see there's a little bit of a change, but still, it's not exactly where we want it to be. This cell that has the company name and address is a lot bigger than it needs to be. And if we look back at that last preview, this is confirmed by looking at the number underneath the invoice there in the upper right hand corner. That number is getting sent to a second line because there's not enough space to fit that number. And that's because that cell is running up against the cell that has the company name and address. So what we're going to do is we're going to shrink that company name and address cell from the right side over. So we'll drag it over to the left. And then also if you look back at the preview, you'll notice that the company name and address text is a little bit too high and looks kind of out of place. So let's fix that as well. So we'll click into the cell. And let's drop down this company name and address here. So let's put it about there. Now let's preview it and see what it looks like. And there you can see it looks so much better. It's 
and alignment and also the number just to the right of that cell is not being pushed to a second line. So let's go back to the WYSIWYG interface here. And a neat little trick I want to show you real quick is if you want to link your company's website, you can insert a link within any text, but it seems appropriate to put it with your company name. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll double click left on the company name text, which will bring up the styles ribbon. You can also just go up and click the styles ribbon, but then you'll navigate here to the hyperlink button that's on the far right of that ribbon. And then a pop-up will show and we want to put our website link in the URL field there. I'm just going to put in our company's website here. And then we'll hit OK. We'll hit Preview. Now that we have a preview on screen, we'll go up to the company name. We'll right click and select Open Link in New Tab and it directs us to our website. So that's a nice option for you if you want to have a way for people to navigate quickly to your website via your invoice. If you decide you don't want the link in your template, just click on the text that has it. Style ribbon will show up again, and then you'll navigate to the far right to the unlink button, and you'll click that. And that will remove the link on that text. So next, we're going to go back to the preview. And if you really focus here, you can see that some of the text in these columns and the labels on these columns do not all have the exact same alignment. So we're going to tackle that next. So we'll go back to our template. So I'll just show you how to do a couple of these and the rest you can do on your own here. So we'll find a text here, click on it. We'll go to cell, cell properties, and this pop-up will show. And we'll want to adjust the horizontal alignment to left. We'll hit OK. We'll do the same at the bottom here. We'll go to Cell, Cell Property, Horizontal Alignment, Left, Select OK. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of these real quick. We'll do a time jump. OK, now all of these are aligned. So I made the Build To, Ship To sections aligned left, as well as those two rows underneath them. All of those texts are aligned left now. And you can align these left, center, right, whichever you like. But in this case, we did left. Now let's preview to see what these look like. Great. So as you can see, everything's been aligned left. Makes it look a lot more consistent and clean. And we can see the difference when we toggle back and forth between this one and the previous preview that we made. But once again, just looking at the preview is not sufficient to know what the invoice is actually going to look like in practical use. So we'll go back to the WYSIWYG interface. We'll hover over the Save button and click Save and Edit. Now that it's saved, we'll go to our invoice, hover over the Print icon, and select the Print option. And there we go. Now we can see that the changes that we made are showing up here in the actual invoice. Next, we're going to go over adding fields to the template. So let's go to our invoice record, and let's use this subsidiary field. So we'll click on that field label. We'll click Copy Field ID in that pop-up. And to see what that field ID is, let's just paste it into this search bar up here. And this field ID is called subsidiary, which is the same name as the label, which isn't always the case. So always make sure that you're going based off the field ID so let's go back to our WYSIWYG interface. If you remember, in a previous lesson, we went over this field icon tool. So we'll click that, and in the search bar, we'll type out our field ID. So that's subsidiary. So let's click on that field. After you select it, if it's not where you want it to, you can move it around. So let's drop down the subsidiary by deleting this space in between. And let's drop down all of that text together. Let's go up to the Save button, click Save and Edit. Now that it's saved, let's go back to the invoice, find the print icon, select Print. And as we can see, that field is showing up here on the invoice. Parent company is what the field value is. So let's go 
back to the invoice just to confirm that. And indeed, it's showing the true value of what's on the invoice. So that concludes this lesson on the WYSIWYG deep dive. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.